All right, let's find some ravens. And go down to that uh, research center. I love that my trebuchet, like, knocks this stuff down. Well, come on! That must be it down there. Big butcher guys. Holy crap. I don't even care about those arrows. Science. Research Center. I just heard a raven somewhere. Can't see anything because it's still super dark. Okay, we're getting a little bit more light now. Oh, new zombies!
<laughs> You're just chilling there behind the desk, eh? Oh. I could break a laptop. That's awesome. What's in this? Okay. I see an article of clothing. Leather pants. Oh, you know she's got to rock the leather pants. There we go. It's definitely the place for copper wire, huh? Okay, so there's the stairs. Bye bye, Nurse Ratchet. It's just a zombie room. We gotta finish clearing the rest of this though. Stab you in the butt. More clothes. Leather shoes. You can be all decked out in leather. I love the padded vest, but I'm sorry if I get a leather leather vest to go along with all this oh, 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 oh you know it I'm gonna be a leather mama okay I think that's a successful clearing rate time to go to the second floor Find out what this journal means. Well, I haven't even really read it. 
I woke up late in the night because of the vibration from my phone. I peeped through my left eye and checked the time and the clock over my head. It was 4.20 in the morning. I left with the vibrating cell phone and answered it. Dr. Clayton, our VP, VIP seems a bit weird. I felt as though my chronic migraine had found its way to my heart as well. Is that so? Take her back to the base. I will head to the base immediately. I tried very hard to be calm during the call. As soon as I hung up, I looked up my contacts and rushed to call Leonard. The phone only rang a few times before it was answered. What's up? So late in the night. The voice on the other end of the phone seemed rather crisp, coming from the person who had just woken up. General Leonard, I just got word from our VIP is not doing so well. Please come to the lab right away. I replied in a calm voice. You mean right now? I have something I have to do in the morning. I'll head over once I'm done. The general replied in a rather annoyed voice. It may be a serious situation. You do not seem like you understand at all. That's why I've been against civilians from taking part in this experiment all along. As I've mentioned before, the general cut me off as soon as I began my tirade. That was not a decision I was able to make. I will be on my way soon. We'll talk when I get there. The phone call ended right after. Okay. Guess we'll do a right hand search. Don't mind me <laughs> just tearing apart laptops so you all just stay in there. Two more laptops, three more laptops. Ammo. Wonder if I can scrap the uh, the second weapons I have. Stairs. There it is. A 
My shower was out of question. I raced to the lab in the middle of the night after receiving Dr. Clayton's call. The doctor was already in the lab sitting on the edge of a desk. He was sitting upright with his arms crossed as if he was trying to hide his nervousness. I asked as I approached him, What is it, Dr. Clayton? Clayon? Clayon? <laughs> Everyone was quite on edge this past month due to the doctor being so moody. The VIP will be here soon. Get ready for testing, the doctor replied in a small voice. Yes, sir. I continued on saying, Don't be too worried. We gave, gave plenty of explanation on the side effects before the surgery. The patient had no other choice but to go through with it. It'll all be fine. I coaxed the doctor as if he were a child. Even though I knew whatever I said didn't make much of a difference, it was a small act of rebellion toward the doctor. The doctor exhaled deeply toward the floor. Why are they so late? They're not answering my call, the doctor complained in a quiet voice. Okay, 1415. Map. 1415. Should be right around this area. Ha! I just click right on it. Yep. And what's it say? In the third room on the third floor of the hospital. Ooh, we're gonna go to a hospital. How's my inventory looking? Man, not bad. But if I were going to be smart about this, I should stop back at the house, just drop off what I don't need. Considering going to a hospital where I have to assume there's a lot, a lot of enemies there, that maybe I should bring a little extra food. Oh, I lost. <laughs> I can't get out. There we go. Huh. I should be able to get home pretty quick. Oh, there's so many things I could pillage here. I can always come back. And get better loot probably going through these missions anyway. my extra clothes. There's no way I'll ever get rid of this vest. I'm just saying that right now. Ooh, if I make a gear, I can just make a trap machine right now, and that'll save up some inventory space. Maybe not. Alright, but I got food. At 41 ammo. You should be good on ammo. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, there be the hospital. Oh, another one of those dudes?
Oh crap! 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 <laughs> well, they used a bit of ammo, but wow, that was nuts. Pose myself a bit before I go walking in that hospital. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's a subway. Oh. All right, third room on the third floor. 